He was a man of many names and a disciple of many faces. From pusher to preacher, from convict to statesman, he brought honor to disobedience and a voice to a people who longed to be heard. We didn't land on Plymouth Rock. Plymouth Rock landed on us. Winner Denzel Washington's most electrifying performance. Director Spike Lee's most powerful film. Did they ask Michelangelo what it would cost to paint the Sistine Chapel? Did they ask Shakespeare what it would cost to write Macbeth? If it costs a little more, it costs a little more. He built his dream with the mob's money. Want to be a little more specific? You just don't do that. I am talking about the single best idea I ever had. Las Vegas. What are we, Bedouins? That's Virginia Hill. Spectacular. Use your imagination. I'm using it. Let me know when you're finished. Where would you have some broad hand law money? No problem. Would you stop that, please? Warren Beatty, Annette Benning. You want out, you're out! Bugsy. God won't be able to bail you out of this one. someone so completely that you would trust them. Love someone so deeply you would cross any line. It's just me, okay? Would you please leave me alone? She wants you to fight for her. She keeps hoping that sex will get better. Have you ever just wanted to kill somebody? We should kill them. Where were you between 8 p.m. and 11 p.m. the night that Hawks was murdered? Why didn't you kill him? Trust me, okay? I've made all the arrangements. I'll be over tomorrow. Corey Haim, Nicole Leggett, and Corey Feldman play a deadly game. served in an infantry unit, son? No, sir. Ever served in a forward area? No, sir. Ever put your life in another man's hands, ask him to put his life in yours? No, sir. We follow orders, son. We follow orders or people die. It's that simple. Are we clear? Yes, sir. Are we clear? Crystal. All those having business with this general court-martial, stand forward and you shall be heard. The facts of the case are these. On midnight of September 6, the accused entered the barracks room of their platoon mate. They woke him up, tied his arms and legs with tape, and forced a rag into his throat. A few minutes later, a chemical reaction caused his lungs to begin bleeding. He drowned in his own blood and was pronounced dead at 37 minutes past midnight. Do you think Santiago was murdered? Private Santiago is dead, and that is a tragedy. But he is dead because he had no code. He is dead because he had no honor. And God was watching. How do you feel about that theory? Sounds good to me. I'll knock it all down to involuntary manslaughter. No deal, we're going to court. No, you're not. Why not? Because you'll lose. You want to investigate me? 
roll the dice and take your chances. I eat breakfast 300 yards from 4,000 Cubans who are trained to kill me, so don't think for one second you can come down here, flash a badge, and make me nervous. You ain't follow orders if people die. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! Son, we live in a world that has walls, and those walls have to be guarded by men with guns. Who's gonna do it? You! If this case is handled in the same fast food, slick-ass, Persian bazaar manner which you seem to handle everything else, then something's gonna get missed. In the heart of the nation's capital, in a courthouse of the United States government, one man will stop at nothing to keep his honor. And one will stop at nothing to find the truth. You're gonna have to be very patient with him in the beginning. Get him placed with adoptive parents as quickly as you can. They took him away from his real parents. He was abused or something, I don't know. Who are you? I'm Mikey Trenton. Trentons don't have a kid. Now they do. You don't love me anymore. That's not a toy. I know that. Mikey, no! Um, I'm calling to inquire about a former student of yours. His name is Mikey Trenton, and he's in the fourth grade. Pilgrim's bad so the turkey's fixing him. Officially, this case is closed. I can put that down. It's not a toy. That's what he was. <laughs> Hasn't he ever been checked out? Psychologically? Life is full of accidents. What are you talking about? The radio. It's not safe. Why not? Don't you know anything about his history? He's a wonderful kid. He, he's perfect. Yeah, he's too perfect. I've been doing some research into Mikey Trenton's background. If I had a girlfriend, I'd do anything for her. I think that there's something very wrong with Mikey. There's something very strange about him. I think that Mikey's in love with me. He's only nine years old. Why don't you like me anymore? No. Mikey, no! Dead people aren't the ones to be scared of. Living people are. I need all the information you can give me on Mikey Trenton. <laughs> what do you want, Mikey? <laughs> it's psychotic behavior. <laughs> Mikey just needs a good, stable home. Remember, Jason and Freddy were kids once, too. question is money. I love money. I hate money. Oh, I think it's lovely. The necessary evil which we can't do without them free. As long as I've got a big fat wallet at the back of my pocket, I would eat. One minute you have money, one minute it's gone. I had a dream about... Money. <laughs> I've got a big, substantial amount of money. One pound thirty-eight. If you're old enough to think about money, you're old enough for a Midland Live Cash account. Sign up now and we'll save you a bundle on BSM driving lessons, tapes, sunglasses, pizza and clothes. Oh yeah? Yes, we're Midland, the listening bank. <laughs>